hello everyone welcome back to alpha car fix in this video i'm going to show you how to edit headshot editing in photoshop i'm going to show you all of the process step by step in this video i don't have any kind of plan to create this video before but one of my one person who is a beginner on photoshop and he asked me to make a video how to edit headshot editing in photoshop so i decided to make that video and i don't have any kind of previous plan on that video so i'm going to show you all of the process that what i do when it's come to edit or any kind of editing or headshot editing so watch the video until then i hope you're going to learn a lot of things and if you are new be sure to subscribe and stay with my channel now let's start the video now you're here in the magical world of photoshop i have downloaded this photo to show you how actually i do a photo editing or headshot editing i'm going to use this one if you want to download this image just check the link in the description now first i'm going to remove the background because i don't like the background at all i need to create a dark background first so that's that's why i'm going to use the paint tool now why i am using paint tool rather than quick session or any other tool I would like to suggest you if you are a beginner on a photoshop pen tool is a professional tool when it's come to do a professional work or professional background using pen tool is the best so always try to use the pen tool and if you are not good at pen tool just do some practice and make your path as good as possible so just take the pen tool be sure to select over here the path and also selection will be the combine not the excluded i would like to go with the combine selection and now just zoom closer and from here we're going to edit this create the path Now we just make the path around the model and now we're going to make that part in this direction. So first we need to take the direct section tool then select that outer path and over here press right button on your mouse and make a selection. First ok leave that fader into zero and hit ok. After making the selection just press that layer mask and create a layer mask. Then also we have other over here, make that selection again and hit OK. Now again now we're going to apply the f or we're going to apply the black color over the layer mask. So just take the brush tool and remove that area. Perfectly. Increase the opacity 100% and remove it. And do the same over there. Just Take the dive station tool and select again over here and press right button and make a selection hit ok after that take the brush tool apply the black to the over here now we just remove the background using the path so next we need to refine the edges so for that just select the layer mask and go to the refine is from the properties you can find it from the windows so just go to the select mask now here we're going to only re refine the edges of the model so just take the refine edge tool over here and refine it.
now we just re uh, refine the edges next step we need to just go to the bottom and set the layer mask and hit ok now you can see we just remove the background and the next step we're going to add a dark background so go to the adjustment layer take solid color take a dark color and hit ok then put that into the back now you can see we just create a dark, completely dark background just press right over here and dark gray just or medium gray so that you can see this or see our canvas next we're going to cut uh, crop the image crop the image properly and hit ok now we're going to create a light behind the background so just take the brush tool now i think we are done next you can uh, take a dark completely dark background or a kind of gray dark background in my personal opinion i will let you go with a bluish one and i think this is perfectly okay now you can see we are just almost done next you can take your time and adjust the skin and apply the color uh, like this one you can just create a snapshot by pressing shift ctrl alt e on your keyboard and then convert that into smart object in my personal opinion i would suggest you to just first do the skin retouching and then apply the camera filter let's go to the filter and camera filter now take your time and adjust it according to your need Now you can see we just edit our headshot editing. Now you can take your time and do all the other adjustment to your image it's like screen retouching and crop the image a little bit and you can take the headshot to the head area. You can do a lot of things. I'm just trying to show the simple process that you need to follow or you can follow to edit your screen headshot editing. So that's it. Now I just show you all the process step by step in photoshop. I try to explain all the things that you might need to know when it's come to do editing or headshot editing in photoshop. These are very basic things but it's very important when it's come to editing. So just follow the steps and create that headshot editing in photoshop. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video hit that like button and also share the tutorial with your friends. I always reply to my all comments. So just leave your comments in the down below and also be sure to share the tutorial with your friends and subscribe to my channel because in future i'm going to come up with more professional tips and tricks videos for you so that you can learn photoshop so that's it for today see you in my next video till then bye and the most important thing as i always say keep learning